to why do people behave the way they do in social settings? And how do we think about ourselves and others? We often create our own explanations for why people think and behave the way they do. We don't always, however, do it in a very systematic way. Our intuitive explanations can sometimes be incorrect. One of the goals of social psychology is to understand how people think and behave in social settings by systematically testing theories about both thinking and behaviour. To do this, we need to know how people perceive, process and organise information about other people. In social psychology, there was an early focus on social behaviour in groups, and you'll hear more about this in other videos in this course. It's important to note, however, that while there are important group-related phenomena, groups don't have the same effect on everyone. To understand these differences, we need to understand the underlying cognitive processes that explain group processes. The area of psychology that helps us to do this is known as social cognition. Social cognition makes use of the theories and methods of cognitive psychology and applies those to social psychological phenomena. We will be looking at impression formation, schemas, social inference and attribution.